there's now a really bad heartbeat in it. Oh, uh, I think it's broken. <laughs> now they're gonna x-ray it and we'll find out. Tough, so it must have hurt real bad. Yeah. Get busy. Get busy. Everybody get get busy. I need y'all to report to the dance floor right this minute. So Lily is in cheer with Sadie, Navy, and Paisley. She has been stunting a lot and has hurt her right wrist. Luckily, we were able to get an appointment during the day, so it's not like I have to rush her to emergency, but we're on our way to our doctor's appointment. Well, just now I get a phone call from the school and somebody has pushed the lady down and she hit her head on the pavement and she hit her elbow and her knees and anyway, so, uh, so I have a friend that's gonna go grab her from school, bring her home, I'm gonna bring Lily, then hopefully see what's the matter with Lily's arm, and then I'm gonna run home and make sure that Delaney's owie is not like a concussion or something. Hopefully, she did say she hit her head hard. I need to call the school and ask them if she got knocked out, but. Ah! having a little bit of a stress attack and it's only 9 a.m. Okay, anyway, I'll let you see what's going on with Lily and then I'll update you as far as what's going on with Delaney. And just a little other information. Tomorrow is Nate's birthday and so we are having a big birthday party for her. Friday, we are doing our early Thanksgiving because Journey's leaving the day before Thanksgiving. So we're having an early Thanksgiving. And then the next day, we are surprising her with an early Christmas. I have everybody coming in from out of town for that. And then on Sunday, Journey does her farewell. So when you leave to go on a mission, you do what's called a, a farewell, where you speak to the whole congregation. She's speaking on service, which is very befitting to Journey because she is just a sweetheart and always serves others. But she is speaking and all of the families and friends are coming over after. I have got a full weekend ahead of me and already I just don't even know how I'm gonna do all this. But hopefully Delaney's okay. As long as she's okay, I can figure this all out. But if she has a concussion, that would be good. So let's just hope that it wasn't as bad as it sounded on the phone. Oh, Sirens there. of an ambulance. On the side of us. Yay! Driving on the left side of the road. Here's Tiffany Nelson. I just have a quick question. I'm on my way to a doctor's appointment um, with one of my other kids, but I have um, my my friend's gonna come and pick up Delaney. She said she hit the ground. Okay, so yeah, she, okay. She, I guess she did. I think she got elbowed in the head. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't see a bump, but we can okay. give her an eye back too. Let me see your eye. Look good, and she's answering questions and stuff. Okay. But, yeah. So. Okay. Kind of, you're I just like I said, I've never, I've never seen her cry like that, so I was kind of like. Yeah, okay. she's pretty it's tough, like, so it must have hurt yeah. real bad. Okay. Thanks thank so you much. so much. Bye bye. Uh, bye bye. Ah! Hopefully she's okay. It doesn't sound good. She said she was crying so hard she couldn't even understand her, and that's not Delaney. So. That is like very true. Delaney does not get hurt very easily. No, so she doesn't scream or cry when she gets hurt really bad. So she must have been hurt really bad. Okay, let's go into Lily's appointment. has an injured wrist, her right wrist. She does a lot of cheerleading and stunts and things like that, but then she also works out at the gym. And so she, the first time she really noticed it was at cheer and then she went to gym and was trying to lift weights, right? Yeah. And it hurt to even like lift the weight. And then it's just gotten worse and worse where she can't even really write. So like when I go like this, so like when I close my hand, like when I was going like this in the gym, I like hurt and it feels like this is like really weak and then like this one is like stronger. Does that make sense? Like, yeah. And last night she even had to sleep with it weird because it was hurting her so bad. Never mind all the lines on the highway. Give me time to reflect to because I'm just having a good day. Having a good day. Okay, so 
so we couldn't get in with our normal doctor. Otherwise, we'd had to wait for a week and that was gonna make her a little too miserable. So we got in with um, our doctor's assistant, which hopefully we'll be able to figure that out. It has a heartbeat right now. It mm -hmm. does, really? Yeah. Probably have to do an x-ray. Cause it doesn't even look different from my allergies. This hurts like right here and right here, but it hurts right here if you touch it right there. Mm -hmm. But under here, it doesn't hurt if you touch it. Yeah, I don't even know. Like I wonder if like, I've heard of people have carpal tunnel and that can get really painful. Or maybe you like sprained it one time and you didn't like realize you'd sprained it. Well, cause I've broken this wrist twice though. Oh, you've broken your wrist twice. Yeah. <laughs> She's broken her right wrist twice. Once when you were what? What were you doing the first time? I'm walking over a sprinkler. <laughs> oh, you were running for the bus <laughs> and she tripped over a sprinkler. I remember that. And um, when was the other time you were? On the tramp one, I broke my middle finger. <laughs> oh, that's right. Okay. Um, the other one you said. When I think you, did you fall down again on the way? That, that going to the bus is dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> I think you'd fallen down again, but it wasn't on the same sprinkler. It was a different thing. <laughs> I think we might've stopped using the bus that year. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. It was like when you were like in second grade, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. You were. I don't have wild. luck with not breaking things. So I've broken my middle finger from like doing it. Yeah. I try to like do a backflip after a toe touch mid in the air. And Janie's like, no, you're supposed to do your toe touch, come down, and then do your back foot. I was like, oh. That would help. Yeah. <laughs> I remember how you could do the toe touch out of <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and I like landed and I like looked at my finger and I was like, ah. <laughs> it's backwards. <laughs> like it was like this. It was really bad. And then you broke your collarbone because you were fighting over, what were you fighting over with Sadie? Navy's phone. To oh. get back for her. And oh. Sadie pushed me down the stairs. <laughs> yeah. Sadie pushed her and she fell down and hurt her collarbone. You don't have a lot of luck when it comes to <laughs> not breaking things, but, yeah. but you don't remember an actual incident. Maybe it's just like a flare up. That's, I don't know. I hope you can still be in your performance on Monday. Yeah. You practiced so hard for it. Well, they already took me out of like all the stunts. I know. But at least the you... new girl that does it, like she's really like smaller than me. Oh, and it's, I'm, and she's she, struggling. Like, yeah, so they just have me front spot and I'm like, I'm trying to help. Like I can't. Oh, like. <laughs> it's hard. In competitive cheerleading, it's a pretty serious sport. Like there's a lot of pressure on you to be responsible and be a practices and take your part because it, everything depends on everybody together as a group. Like if one person doesn't show up or can't do it, it kind of just changes the whole routine. So it's a big pain for them too that, that she has this injury, but it's more pain for her because she actually feels pain. <laughs> I'm not going to squeeze hard. I'm just kind of this size wise. Everything feels fine. The same. Um, and I don't see any obvious one. Can you rotate a little bit further? Like your whole arm. Yeah. Like this. Just so I can look at this underside. Okay. Now go. So. If you try to squeeze my fingers, yeah, like you got nothing. It's like <laughs> she's it's like nothing. when I squeeze right here, it hurts really bad right there. Yes. Not right here. Yeah. Okay. And then like when I twist it or something, or like when I'm writing, it hurts right here. Push that finger down against my. Does that hurt a lot? Yeah. Push it up. Yeah. Okay. Where does that hurt? It still hurts. Still like, underneath. Yeah. Okay. So if you try and relax, and I just bend a little bit. How painful is that? It's like the same, yeah. It's, sorry, so once I get to here, it starts getting you. Okay, try and relax again. If I push this way, so is that painful? Yeah. Does that even start going down? Okay. So you said most of your pain is out on this side. Yeah. If I push along here, is that painful? No, it's like right as you get to there, okay. it like starts. So obviously what I'm doing is hurting a lot. I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying not to. <laughs> so you're pretty tender along here. Yeah. So when the pain is, is here, this isn't necessarily wrist as much as it is the forearm, right? Distal mm -hmm. forearm. These areas are common fracture points. Okay. So we do need to get some x-rays just to make sure that we're not dealing with the fracture. That you haven't been <laughs> putting up with a fracture for a few weeks. Oh, wouldn't that be and sad? <laughs> They hurt really bad. Yeah, there's now a really bad heartbeat in it all. And I started crying and I'm like, uh, I think it's broken. Crud, that'd be the same wrist three times. That's a lot. So maybe I should just cut off my arm? No, no, no. You just keep falling on it. You obviously use it a lot, so. Now they're gonna x-ray it and I'll find out. Cheese and champagne, what a wonderful morning. Never mind, she declined to the first day. It was only on my birthday. Never mind all the lines on the highway. Give me time to reflect a bit, cause I'm just having a good day. Having a good day. Having a real good morning. I'm just having a good day. Having Mm, I'm gonna say it's 
broken because last time I said it wasn't broken, something was broken, so I'm gonna do the opposite. <laughs> it's, it's broken now. Knowing all of our family's luck, it might be broken. in the doctors at least four times a month. I know. Not like, even for like a checkup, just for people getting Seems like at least at least once a month. I mean, I don't know. Well, I mean, Delaney and Navy were the same time every month. That's so crazy. And today, you and Delaney. Delaney. <laughs> Delaney's always getting hurt. She gets hurt, but she's so active. Yeah. She's so active. and All she does is play around with boys on the playground. Yeah. When the cute lady at the school was talking to me, she said she was crying so hard she couldn't understand her. I'm like, oh, she's definitely hurt because yeah. she's so active and she hardly ever cries. Like, even when she one gets time hurt. I threw a ball and I hit her in the head really hard and she just fell down. She stood back up. She goes, okay, now it's my turn. <laughs> Wait, like, but okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, that's Delaney, so. After we find out what's the matter with Miss Lily, we will run home to Delaney. Hopefully she's, I told my um, friend to give her some medicine. So hopefully her owies will not feel so painful. Though. School hasn't even started for her. I know. <laughs> she's literally playing on the playground before the bell ring for school. Uh, and somebody pushed her. I'm sure it was an accident. They elbowed her. She was probably playing basketball again. Yeah. This will be the third injury in basketball this Maybe year. Maybe she's just trying to play basketball. <laughs> those boys, those boys go out hard. It's just her. I, I've like been to the school before because I um, was going on a field trip with Paisley. So I saw Delaney, like it was kind of cool because I could see like what she was doing without her knowing I was watching. <laughs> so I could see how she really is. And it was literally like she was surrounded by like eight guys and she was like running this basketball game and she was like, no, dude, you're on that team. Okay, let's go. And like, she was so happy and just beaming with joy that she's playing basketball with <laughs> boys. So I don't think I could tell her she can't play basketball. The girls are probably jealous. Oh my goodness. <laughs> She's just so sporty and she just loves being active. So she mostly has friends that are guys that like doing that stuff. So yeah. it's all right. It's fine, no drama. No drama. That's true. A little bit less drama. <laughs> yeah, you know about that, right? Do, 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 drama. Well, it used to be no drama with boys for Lily too, but. And then. Now it's kind of flipped. Never like one of your guy friends. Yeah. Guy friends, maybe, I don't know. Now it's drama. Yeah. What the heck? That guys weren't supposed to be drama. Yeah. Guys, you know who you are. <laughs> Just kidding. They weren't supposed to care about things. <laughs> Oh dear. Well, we won't go into that because that is just really throwing someone under the bus. But anyway. <laughs> if you're watching this video. <laughs> Be nice to Lily. <laughs> All right. Okay. Let's wait for the doctor. Here we go. One of the areas that you're really tender is right along here. And I don't actually see a fracture here at all, right? You got good continuous uh, margin. The, the line is nice and straight. There's no step off anywhere. Yeah. And so this is the area where you're most tender. So that makes me feel good. Yeah. I am looking at this and I'm not sure if I like how that right there looks. But again, you have a growth plate that comes along here and it, that kind of makes it a little more difficult to tell. That's why we have radiologists. That's why we have people. Yeah. <laughs> These ones are a little more difficult because the bones overlap. But again, you've got good continuous lines as far as I can see. All right, so this is the situation. So basically what he said is, you cannot, <laughs> cannot, cheer, cheer, <sighs> which she has a performance on Monday and they just really got their really cute uniforms. <laughs> but he said if she doesn't give it a rest or, you know, heal it, that it will go into competition season, which is worse because this is a performance competition season is a bigger deal. Yeah. So, but at this point, he doesn't know for sure if it's not broken because her growth plates are like right where she has the pain. It's really hard for him to tell if it's a growth plate or actually a buckle fracture. Yeah. So he's waiting for the radiologist to read it. So we will get a phone call of whether it is broken or not broken. So he's telling her what to do. He, we gotta go pick up a brace for her. She's supposed to ice her, like, like basically stick it in a thing so it can get all that part nice and cold and a deep cold. It's for like, 20 minutes. Yeah, he said you want it to be a deep cold where it's almost like numb. That's cold, that's cold, cold. cold. Anyway, okay, well we're gonna head home and see how Delaney is doing. So we will see you in a momento. All right guys, I just got home. Miss Delaney's showing me her owies. She has an elbow scrape, a leg scrape, a hip scrape, which we won't show you. And where's your head? Let me see your owie on your head. What, what's the part that hurts the most? Let's see. I don't feel any bumps. You have a little bit of a headache, but you look okay. Let's see your eyes. But you're starting to feel a little bit better. All right. Well, that's good. I was worried about you. I was like, we do not need another concussion. Do you feel like you can go back to school? I don't know. How's your head feeling? 
how did it happen? What exactly happened? I was dribbling the ball down mm -hmm. the court, mm -hmm. and this fifth year he came up, and he was like crazy, oh. like if it was like a real game. Oh, like and he went nuts. Shoved me, and I fell on the floor. Oh, I'm sorry. Did it hurt real bad? Yeah. They said you were crying really bad. Are you feeling better now? Okay. All right, so. We'll still need to figure out what's wrong with Lily's arm. We still don't know yet, they did the x-rays. But Delaney is okay, which is a good thing, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, now I just gotta wait for Lily. Are you going back to school? I don't know. Hmm. It's always a hard question. When you start feeling better, you kind of just don't want to go back, but it's not even lunchtime yet. What do you think? I don't know. All right, to be determined if Delaney is going to go back to school today. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we got a phone call from the doctor, Lily. And what did they say? He said, I sprained it and strained it. Yes, but you did not break it. So all Thanks is well. Lily. And Delaney, do you have a concussion? <laughs> what? No. She actually faked it. No, no she I didn't. didn't. <laughs> all right, guys, so that's the end of our video. Thank you so much for watching our chaotic day. And wish me <laughs> luck that I can get through all of the fun things we're doing this weekend. Holy cow, right now we're running in to get Christmas jammies for Journey's surprise Christmas early Christmas. So ah, love you all. Bye. Bye.